meditation the state of awareness indeed meditation is a state of awareness watchfulness and witnessing ordinarily we live just like a robot we go through all the gestures of living but they are only gestures there is no consciousness behind it your gestures of love your gestures of prayer in fact everything that you do are mere gestures and there is no consciousness behind it we are functioning like a mechanism and that is what the society wants us to do the society need machines not men machines are good in a way they are very obedient and efficient nobody has ever heard nobody has ever heard of any machine being rebellious of machines saying no of course the machines get bugged up when their mechanism is not functioning that's a different attitude altogether they are always at your disposals push the button and they start functioning and whenever you want they do not even need a coffee break or lunch break day in day out they can go on working for you and slowly and slowly society has tried to reduce man to a machine fortunately it has only almost succeeded with a few persons it has failed and those few are the salt of the earth Moses is one of those few people who can be called the salt of earth. Existence is beautiful because there have been people like Moses. They function consciously. They create great rebellions. The whole evolution has depended on these few people. Meditation means undoing what the society has done to you. keep it inscribed on your forehead and deep within meditation means undoing what the society has done to you it has reduced you to a machine and now you have to deautomatize yourself you have to become a man again you have to come out of this state of unconsciousness you have to come out of the sleep it is possible only through meditation there is no other way there has never been there will never be any other way the only way to reduce a man to machine is take away his consciousness and then force him to function unconsciously and just the opposite is the way of meditation give him back his consciousness and he will attain to his meditativeness my whole effort is to help you to become conscious again so you can be rid of all the structures that have been imposed upon you which are keeping you slave and yoked to society and its ways and means the slavery is so subtle that one is not ordinarily even aware of it that it exists people take it for granted that they are christians hindus muslims indians japanese and french all these are signs of slavery deep within in the inner world there is no religion there is no caste there is no creed there is no nationality there is just oneness as a human being you belong to that you are the citizen of your innerness people never think even for a single moment that each child is born without any religion and he is happy without any nation without any race he is simply born as a conscious being but we take away his consciousness 
and in place of it behavioral poor substitutes of religion caste creed nationality we take away his real identity and give him the false one and then he goes on living according to those ideas those conditionings his whole life becomes an illusion and misery one has to wake up from the sleep wake up from deep slumber you have to disappear as an embodiment of ego and then you are suddenly born as the very ocean your presence becomes ocean you have to disappear as a person as a separate entity and then you appear as a whole you are ocean and to be the whole is to be holy the, the discipline that is imposed from outside is always ugly because it is destructive what the religions have done they have created divisions and they have destroyed the inner peace of man although they claim that they are aspiring for world peace peace begins with you you cannot aspire for world peace you must aspire for your own peace world as such is a world that does not exist in reality it is a world that exists in dictionaries society family these are all hypothetical worlds if you come across a society or a family let me know i have never come across a family sociological definition of a family is a group of people joined by a common bond husband wife and two children what in reality you see human beings human being is the very unit of anything society family nation you can change a man but not society you can change a man but not family you can change a man but not the nation this is the discipline that is imposed from outside and it is always ugly and destructive it is paralyzing it cripples you rather than cutting the cloth according to you and then making an outfit out of it it does just the opposite the outfit is ready there made by somebody else and now you have to fit into it the outfit may be thousands of years old but you have to fit into it everyone talks about their culture and civilization but has these cultures brought in a peace in man has brought in a serenity in you no if it is not this is not worth even a dime it needs to be discarded if you do not fit into them then you have to be cut not the outfit it is considered that something is wrong with you not with the outfit your culture your civilizations your religions nothing is apparently seem to be wrong with those all the wrongs are with you the man that is the moralistic or the puritan attitude that the moral rules are always right if something is wrong it is always you so you have to fit with the moral rules if you do not fit it creates guilt and if you try to fit it creates discomfort if you are stupid you try to fit but then your whole life becomes a misery if you are clever and cunning then you become a hypocrite you pretend yes everything is okay i am fitting in perfectly well the outfit is beautiful and it is lovely this is the approach of all your religious people the church goers this is a double life one is in your drawing room and the other life which is your real life from the back door this creates a split then there is inner struggle and inner tensions and you can never be at ease you are pulled apart if you try to be real 
you start feeling you are being oral and if you try to be moral you start feeling you are being unnatural and both prove to be tense states my approach is totally different I cannot be moralistic at all certainly there is a clear cut distinction between morality and religion morality is discipline imposed from outside and religion is inner discipline i am not speaking of your so called outer religions i am speaking of the religion of buddhas religion of jesus religion is inner discipline religion arises out of your consciousness morality depends on creating a conscience there is a vast difference between consciousness and conscience conscience is bound to create problem for you because it is against you somewhere it may look right basically but nature knows no logic you may have to agree intellectually but existence is far bigger than the intellect you cannot manage to force existence into elect into intellectual patterns of narrowness intellect is narrow moreover these patterns were created by men long ago manu the great indian law maker prescribed certain rules 5000 years have passed and the hindus still have to follow them now the whole world has changed man has changed nothing is same but the code of conduct remains the same if manu comes back he will not even be able to recognize anything but his rules are still there the 10 commandments are still there centuries have elapsed but these rules are still there if the hindus follow those rules in one sense he feels good that he is following the right path the path of his ancestors but then there is repression and then the whole situation that is against him and he looks stupid to himself and to others as well he does not look contemporary he becomes a mess morality is for man and morality has to change with times its definition has to change the needs change the supply has to change accordingly you cannot continue with old rules 10 commandments were given 3000 years ago now everything is different and under changing circumstances they are absolutely irrelevant you have to find new ways and means to live and new ways and means to be the only possibility is that we drop the whole idea of conscience instead of conscience we should depend on consciousness conscience is always created by others it is a manipulation it is a subtle slavery consciousness is created by you consciousness implies that you are making your own efforts to stand on your own two feet to look at life and to gather enough courage to live according to your own light i mean inner light of course when you live according to your light you may commit many mistakes but there is nothing wrong in committing mistakes because that is the only way to learn once you do not commit the same mistake again the more mistakes one commits the more one learns the only thing to be remembered is do not commit the same mistake again and again that is a stupid commit new mistakes and find out ways to commit new mistakes as you grow as you learn as you become conscious and more alert a certain inner discipline and as you become conscious and more alert a certain inner discipline arises without any imposition 
because you can see what is right and what is wrong and when you see it there is no split then you are not of a double mind then it does not create any kind of schizophrenia otherwise the whole humanity has lived a schizophrenic life up to now because of the moralistic past we have to free religion from morality once religion is freed from morality then religion gives you a totally new kind of morality certainly it will not be morality of manu or of moses but that of or that of jesus or that of buddha certainly it will be yours and then when it is yours there is a joy in living it there is a great possibility of growth through it therefore never feel crippled paralyzed hampered obstructed and manipulated try to become more and more natural simple and spontaneous you become more and more attuned to the universe that is the way of innerness certainly it is non moralistic but absolutely religious indeed it is an amoral religion not immoral not moral but amoral a religion that transcends morality all boundaries and limitations of morality then it brings freedom to you the freedom is the ultimate value there is nothing higher than that freedom is the highest truth it is another name for god indeed free is sublime and that's the way